Hey everybody, this is Corey at More Guitars and More Music in Evansville, Indiana. Welcome to a little different version of Little Guy with a Big Guitar. We're going to call this one Little Guy with a Big Stick. Meet my upright bass. Uh, haven't named it yet, but this is my uh, beloved NS Design NXT 4A. Going to be using this for demonstration purposes to show you the Gensler Magellan 350 and the Gensler New Classic 112 cabinet. I'm very, very excited about both of these pieces. Uh, very, very flexible, uh, a little more traditional sounding uh, from the genius mind of Jeff Gensler. Uh, Jeff and I had had a conversation recently. Uh, we've had his products in the store, the Magellan 800, his line array series of base cabinets. They're really awesome audiophile quality. Uh, amplifiers along with his acoustic guitar amplifiers you should definitely check out and he was asking me uh, about what I thought about his gear and unfortunately I have a, a bad tendency to to uh, say exactly what's on my mind and I said Jeff for for my style of playing and what I've always heard uh, they're a little too pristine for me. They're very, very clear. They're very fast. They're very focused. It works for uh, numerous players all over the world. Some fabulous, fabulous players make those amplifiers sound great. It's just not what resides in my heart and in my playing and in my ears. Um, not something that I would typically play. Uh, I have always been a guy that played a 15-inch cabinet or a big refrigerator style. I like tubes. I like it to, to have a little softer attack, a little woolier sound. Um, and he was very, very kind. He said, I have just been working on these new cabinets. They're coming out. Uh, we're going to roll them out real soon. It's a new classic. He said, I, I designed them with players like you in mind because obviously I wasn't the first person to tell him that. Um, Jeff is an absolute genius. Um, he's proven time and again that his amplifier designs are not only uh, sound great, but are nice to look at, uh, durable, and made with players in mind, with player type features. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the cabinet. I really think that this is a groundbreaking cabinet in that it weighs 28 pounds and it is not neodymium. Uh, I play through a 112 with a neodymium speaker in it. Uh, I really like it. Uh, would I like to have 215s? Maybe, probably, but my 48-year-old back does not like hauling around uh, 215s anymore, so I've gone with a smaller rig. With that in mind, Jeff designed this enclosure to be super sturdy, but also very, very lightweight, and he accomplishes that through a mixture of uh, ceramic and uh, ferrite magnet on the back of the speaker so he's able to reduce the the magnet size which in effect reduces the weight of it so it weighs next to nothing if you got a heckler in the front row you can grab a hold of your amplifier chuck it at them and you know go on with your night it's one of those pieces you're going to be amazed your back's going to love it he also came out with a smaller version of his magellan 800 in the magellan 350 so this has a lot of the same feature set as the Magellan 800, just without the overdrive in it. it. Has a really, really musical EQ on it in a low, mid, and high controls. Also a contour with two different curves to it. Uh, and we'll take a look at those. They're, uh, again, very musically voiced and something that when you're on the bandstand, if you're like me, uh, you got a lot of things going on. Uh, you don't want to have to fiddle with a whole lot of knobs to get a really good sound. So it's really nice to have that contour to kind of center the EQ. 
What you just heard at the front of the video was everything set flat, including the gain set, uh, everything set at 12 o'clock. The contour turned all the way down, which is the flat setting on this, and then the EQ straight up and down at 12 o'clock. We had the gain or the uh, volume at about oh 930 on the on the dial. So uh, already a usable sound. Everything's turned up on my on my bass, so you can kind of get an idea of uh, what this thing can do just from that. Let's take a look. Uh, well, let me go through some other specs. Uh, it is 350 watts into four ohms. At 8 ohms or, or 2.57 ohms, it will power a, a 215, um, a lower ohmage cabinet or refrigerator style cabinet. Um, it also produces 175 watts at 8 ohms, which for most gigs, in my opinion, is more than enough um, unless you're playing very hard rock with uh, a heavy handed drummer. Uh, playing lots of cymbals and double bass drum and uh, guitar players with with half stacks. This is probably going to fit the bill for I know 95% of the gigs that I do uh, around my around my area. Let's take a look at that contour. So what the contour is uh, is basically a tone shaping, and you can, uh, like I said, check the curve with either the A or B switch. Right now we have it set flat. I'm gonna roll it all the way over to the right uh, and put it at full volume and play a little bit for you. So you can hear it kind of rounded out the tone a little bit. It uh, uh, did bring down the top end just ever so slightly, but it definitely boosted the bass. Uh, I hear a little bit of, of uh, a mid roll off inside of that. So let's take that to uh, the straight up and down 12 o'clock position and have a listen. That sounds really, really great. So not quite as much uh, bass, not quite as much low end as when we had it all the way turned up. Um, seems like the, the mids were a bit more accentuated. What I'm gonna do now is just simply strike an E and roll this back and forth a little bit for you so you can kind of hear as it goes along, hopefully. Uh, the camera can uh, get a shot of where it's at as I'm striking the string. So as you can tell, that does a whole lot for the, for the sound. Uh, especially the low end. It seems like the, the low end got a little bit rounder, a little bit woolier. Uh, it was definitely making things vibrate on the wall as uh, back behind me as I uh, started to get it past that two o'clock section. Let's take a look at the other curve, the B curve. You'll notice the light above the contour turns yellow. And you've already heard the amplifier at flat. So I'm going to start off at the uh, 12 o'clock position on this and play a little bit for you. Wow. 
wow, that really added a whole lot of that woody character uh, to the bass. That is one thing about uh, electric uprights. Uh, sometimes they lack the hollowness uh, of a full acoustic upright. Uh, that seems to add quite a bit of that back into the instrument. Let's roll it all the way up. I'll play a little bit. We'll talk about it. Seemed like we got a little bit more top end out of that. Still had uh, a really nice woody tone, um, which is really what you're looking for. Otherwise, you'd just buy a, a fretless bass guitar, wouldn't you? Uh, really, really flexible. So with that in mind, I'm going to set up like my what would be a, a really a nice sound for me with a small combo. Uh, say drums and piano. Uh, we'll get this set up. Give me just a second. We'll be right back. Never mind my sloppy technique on that. We'll let that one slide. But uh, as you can see, this is a very, very versatile amplifier. Uh, I definitely would love for you to check this out. You can find it at moreguitars.com or More Music in Evansville. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, you can stop by, probably play the bass, uh, play your own electric bass, play one of our electric basses. Come talk to us about it. Uh, I'm super impressed with this. I hope you are too. We'll see you soon.